Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We're at a crossroads, three different ways to go. We've already gone down this way, so let's see what's behind the figurative door number two. What if you can, like, get up to the upper graves or whatever you'd call them? Tombs? I mean, they're not really a tomb, they're just kind of open. But, like, I wonder if there's something up there. Ah, we need a stool or something. Not gonna get close to this without throwing a grenade. Literally a pine cone grenade. Please make a noise this time. Really? They just didn't put any sound in for the explosion. Or the hole closing up. Huh. It just feels wrong. Oh. One stick. Well, I got four bottles too. We'll be fine. So that leads up. So wait, where's the first one we closed up? This one. And the second one just... Where's the second hole that we closed up? Wasn't it like... Wait, what? Oh, there's one here and then one here that is really close to each other. Okay. Heights urn. Wait, I thought we already had one. We have two? I guess Hythe was really big and didn't fit in one urn. Hmm, another heavy urn. Probably need it for something nearby, like this right here. I probably need to be wearing my armor at the same time, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, it looks like this brings me to the uh, Great Hall. So I think that loops around to the third option. So let's see if we can find where the third option was going to take us. Like, where, where is that? I have no idea. Where that is from here. Hmm. Oh well, I guess we won't worry about it. Mark that we've been here. Also get renowned for that. Someone will tell tales of this candle that I lit. I think I see a spider in there, and it's alive. This one's not dead. I wonder if I can get it to come onto the trap. Would that work? Just in case it doesn't, though, let me get my pinecone explosive ready. Hmm? Ooh! Yeah, it worked! Guards? Opal. Find the missing guards. Well, one of them didn't make it. Catacombs map. Ooh, that's going to be helpful. Or, well, maybe not that helpful. <laughs> it's definitely a rough map. And I'm walking on somewhere where it shows absolutely nothing on the map. Hmm. Another one. I guess I could just sneak around it. Because I don't... Oh, nope. 
Nope, it knows. Because I kind of want to save these uh, pine cones for the worm things, but... Oh, no. No, really? Why did it miss? It was targeted on, and then I pressed the button, and then it wasn't targeted. We're going to run it. Okay, that works surprisingly well. Wait a second. Um, you know something weird about my marker on the map? I'm moving forwards. Forwards. Backwards. It's not facing the right way at all. Huh. Interesting. I don't even think it has me marked in the right location. Because isn't this the center? Where like everything feeds into the center? And it shows me in the map as being like in the void, but I think the center is, well, that circular thing where it doesn't even show me being near it. What if there's like an elevator or something there? Can't seem to get there. ghost? It is the ghost. A spark to light a fire. Hmm. <laughs> I could just sing a song. Yeah, let's just sing a song. Take up your loot, prepare to play. A spark to light a fire. Renown 100 of 100. Ooh, maybe I need to play the right song, huh? So this is supposed to be the ghost of the, I forgot their name, but the, like, Doinlin or something. One of the warriors that fought the green flame. So I'm thinking the Gilded Warrior is probably a good song to play. It uh, recounts the last moments of the Battle of Paraclave, immortalized in song. Inspired by 12 heroes, the rat forces rally to at last defeat the army of the green flame. Yeah, this will probably be a good one. So the Gilded Warrior. Turquoise ember expands, glowing brighter, swirling faster as it coalesces to form a ghostly figure. I guess I played the right one. Nice. Good mouse? What place is this? The tomb of the hero Doinlin. Doinlin. I... I am... I was Doinlin of Dahl. City of Dahl, built long ago at the confluence of two great rivers, Dahl is the old capital of the Ratlands. 
in the historical seat of the Rat Kings. At its height, Dal was the largest and most prosperous of the great northern cities, with a population over a million strong. However, the city never truly regained its status following the War of the Green Flame, for in time the two great rivers ran dry. Nowadays, the city is forced to draw its water from a vast aquifer, which some fear is being slowly poisoned by seepage from Lake Valia. Doinlin, it's an honor to meet such a legend. A legend? I am the shade of a warrior, nothing more. How strange. To speak and be heard for the first time in a thousand years. But why have you come here, good mouse? I sense you have questions. In legend, it's said you're male. History is built upon the ruins of the truth. Indeed. If the song is untrue, what else of the old world has been forgotten? That is a question you must answer for yourself. Are there others like you? My comrades faded long ago. Only their bones remain, and dust. Tell me, can all of the dead be called upon? All? Nay. Only those who die in confusion or profound regret will linger. Why do you remain here still? I must stay here until... Until I can remember. Remember what? Something or someone. Someone I love. I... I cannot recall. You have someone you hoped to reach? I... My son? Be glad that he is at peace, good mouse. You would not wish this for him. Yeah, so, uh, Bryn, their son, is dead? Some of the, the dialogue talking about, uh, Mara and, and Tilo's son made it sound like they were dead, but I'm not exactly sure whether that's, like, really been confirmed, but it certainly sounds like it at this point. I don't know how they died. Didn't it say that the, the figurine we have in our inventory of, of Bryn is, like, I don't know, is seared or something? Burnt? Something like that? It's, like, damaged? I don't know if that has anything to do with it. You've been alone for all this time? There was a time pilgrims would come in search of my blessing. But none have been here in... In... Uh, the last was a rat. A good rat. He spoke to me, though he did not know I was there. His name... I don't remember, but it was a heavy burden for him to bear. I'm glad you could give him some comfort. I fear it was not enough. But right that sought your counsel, what was his name? Uh, his name was sharp at its end, like the point of a knife. He took something and left something in its place, there on the altar. He swore to one day return what he had taken, but alas, the day is not yet come. Hmm. I'm looking for something precious, something lost. I see, though I sense that what you truly seek will not be found here. I am doing this for Mara, my wife. There are many treasures here. I'm wealthier now than I ever was in life. Strange. I would trade it all for a single word, a memory, to be seen. You have already given me far more. Pray, take what you wish. Forgive me, Lady Doinlin. I must go. Good mouse. This vessel contains something of me. At your feet, you find a simple stoneware urn. Strange. You didn't notice it until now. Pray, take it. When I am needed, I will come to you.
You can leave this tomb? My mortal remains lie scattered about the keep. I am a part of this place that bears my name. Until we meet again, good mouse, I hope you find what it is you seek. Ooh, we leveled up. Health and stamina. Nice. It's a really cool looking effect. So I believe the quest said to come... Well, what the heck is this? Oh, you can't even see it on the recording. I accidentally pressed the uh, the middle Xbox button and it came up with like this little menu thing. Anyway. Yeah, I think the quest said to carry the chest back to Silas. She bid you take the treasure chest. Hmm. So I guess as, as far as like what I absolutely need to do down here, I guess I'm already done. Which feels strange because it's like it looks like there's so much more to explore down here. There's the chest. Oh, do I actually have to... I actually have to carry it all the way back, don't I? Oh, well. That's going to take a really, really long time. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing that. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that at all. I'm just gonna put that there and keep exploring. I'll do that some other time. Oh, you know what? I bet if you keep exploring that this is like an elevator or something and there's there's gotta be a shortcut, right? There has to be. Okay, so we came from there. That's where the spider is. We just went there. Just keep going around. Designed for larger, heavier creatures. Okay, I need a heavy urn for that. I wonder if the chest would do. Huh. It might. Okay, yeah, this actually is not as much to explore as I thought. It's only three ways to go, one of which is blocked. So, let me heft that on over there and see if it works. Yeah, it is heavy enough. Cool. Well, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. See where this goes. Oh, I bet this is the other pathway. So I probably just like opened up a shortcut. Oh, it's so pretty. Hole in the cavern somewhere. Ah, uh, another one. Okay. Whoa. Hello there, giant silent bird. Great Magpie's cry shakes the hall, knocking you from your feet. The chest slips from your paws and splinters against the flagstones. What the hell? Carry the chest back to Silas, done. I guess carry the bundle back to Silas now? Yeah. Well, that makes it more convenient. Uh, but it does mean I can't open this anymore. Although I don't see any reason I can't just, like crawl up here? Yeah. This doesn't seem to pose any sort of an obstacle at all. What's even the point of it? Huh. Weird. Can I examine the contents by any chance? The bundle is made of a fine hessian cloth tied off in an elaborate knot. You resist the urge to open it. Still not sure where we are yet. Nope. Sorry, premature. Oh, secret door. 
so we've looped back around to where we first came in. Oh wait, the uh, the guard leader that was here is gone. Huh. Okay, well I don't want to head up just yet. There's definitely at least one unexplored area here. Yeah, so we went down this way and we just went that way. So what is this way? Because this leads to the Great Hall, but... Where exactly does it lead to the Great Hall? <laughs> We still need to find one of the guards, right? Oh, wait a second. Oh, we've been here. Yeah, I remember I lit this candle, jumped over, killed the spider on the trap. Where's the third guard then? Oh, I think the third guard is like right there at the spider. You see it? <laughs> Think we can get it real fast? Yoink! Wait, I just pulled the thing to make it go down. You can go further down? Oh, harbor! Oh! <gasps> Interesting. Does it go further down? Nope, already at the bottom. Okay. Oh, I am intrigued. But, uh... I think I want to go back to Silas first. Silas, I have the treasure. Here. Where's the chest? It broke open. I found this inside. All right. Silas unties the neck of the bag and pulls from it a slim, silver cylinder, intricately decorated and sealed at both ends. What's this? Can you open it? It seems like it should open here at the end, but... No, it won't budge. This was everything from the chest. Aye, that's it. Was expecting to find a silver ring like this. The rat pulls a silver band from his pouch, not much bigger than your paw, and the brazier's light. You notice fragments of an inscription engraved across the band's surface. Are you sure it was the right chest? It was the only chest there. Good mouse, there was once another. Ah, so Doinlin's come here now. My Lady Doylan, please, I must find it. Pray, meet me, Annan, in the Watchtower's Belfry, and I will tell you all that I can. The Watchtower's Belfry. Where is that? Mouse. Tilo. Wait, where are you yelling at me? Hmm? Oh. Oh, they were only communicating with me? I, I just assumed like Silas was hearing that. Oh. I can see why they'd be a little bit confused. I was just like talking to myself or something. <laughs> the ring. There's still a chance I can... Or, no, there's someone I can ask for help. Hi, why don't you go and do that? Silas, where's the belfry? Turn around and look up. You're standing below it. So that? I think I tried to go up here before. Is it locked or? Hmm. Don't remember what was in here. Hello there. No, I, I must have not gone here. Maybe the door wasn't open before or something. But I surely would have noticed the fate card. Yes, burn. 
Or actually, maybe not. I think I stood over here, didn't I? And looked out the window. Beetle eggs? What the? I have so much miscellaneous stuff. Scat beetle eggs. Unfertilized scat beetle eggs. Like, what do I even do with that? I mean, I feel like I should give them to Silas and maybe they can, you know, raise some more scat beetles. Who is it that calls to me? If you have a question, pray ask it. My lady, you said there was a second chest from the altar. A chest? Aye, a mouse came and claimed it as his own. Are you sure you're not thinking of me? Am I? Perhaps. Nay, he was older. A strong mouse. How many centuries have passed since then, I wonder? Centuries? Nay, this was mere weeks ago. And this mouse, he took the chest. He took many things, but he did not get far. I saw where he fell. Please, show me. I... I do not recall. My memories are islands in fog. My strongest memory is a memory of a feeling of love. I love for my true love. He is the last thing I truly remember, all save for his name. His name. I would give anything to remember. Good mouse, will you find it for me? With my love's name to guide me through this fog, perhaps I can guide you in return. I don't know where to begin. Come, mouse, look there, toward Valia and the Great Clarion. The Great Clarions? Ooh. Oh. The collective name for a ring of massive ancient structures that stand in ruin at the southeastern shore of Lake Valia. Most now lie submerged beneath the waters of the lake, or beached upon its shore, their wooden ribs half buried in silt like the bones of some extinct leviathan. Of three there remains almost no trace, save for the timber pilings they once stood upon. Though, uh, though stripped of its copper skin by scavengers, the clarion high above the shores of Doinlin Heights is nevertheless among the most well-preserved. The clarions derive their name from their unique horn-like design, but their true purpose is a mystery to the new age, long since forgotten by all but the magpies. Huh. Somewhere among the trees stands an obelisk in memory of my love. <gasps> oh, all those things that I lit up. So is that center thing the clarion, perhaps? I've spent centuries walking that glade, searching for him, but alas. The clarion. Find the obelisk that bears its image, and you will find my true love's name. I'm sure of it. Tell me, what was the purpose of the Great Clarion? It was a weapon in the War of the Green Flame. Huh. War of the Green Flame. So we sort of saw this in the very beginning. Like the very beginning of the game, that opening sort of uh, cutscene. Uh, no one remembers where the Green Flame appeared first. A force without conscience or thought. It killed and consumed all those standing in its path. When the world was teetering on the edge of the bright abyss, it almost caused all life to end. Some see the green flame as a creation myth, others as a metaphor for greed and power. The truth is that the rat's influence over Pangaea can be traced all the way back to the legendary Battle of Periclave. King Rodgar I, Jarlin, Doinlin, those mighty rat heroes may have died centuries ago, yet all still remember that their sacrifice was necessary to finally destroy the green flame. Tell me, what is the green flame? Tis the absence of thought, of reason, an all-devouring force. 
those who succumb to it are doomed to join its ranks. Where did it come from? Some believe it a divine power sent to test us. But who can say? Perhaps it was always amongst us. What do you remember of the Battle of Paraclave? Impressions. The cries and the pain and the wind on the plain. The sheer cliff walls and Yarlan and Nikto. Nik yeah, Nikto above. And that sound of the dirge unending. Yarlan, a true hero of rat folklore. Yarlan was general to Rodgar, the first rat king, during the final battle of the War of the Green Flame. The general did not survive the war. Contemporary accounts of the Battle of Paraclave describe Yarlan sacrificing his own life in order that the Green Flame be, be defeated. There are some who believe that, had Yarlan lived, he may have stood a chance of challenging Rodgar for the crown. But what news have you of the war? The battle was won. The Green Flame was defeated. Defeated? Yet I sense it still. Oh. Why is it that I alone can see you? Tis strange indeed. Here, perhaps my son's Lutka is the cause. You reach into your pouch for Bryn's Lutka, but the figurine is gone. Oh, Lutka, a small figurine carved by every mouse buck to commemorate the occasion of his marriage and the birth of his children. Lutkas are made in wood or stone and stained, with lime to represent the living and ash to commemorate the dead. Often carried at the waist, in a small purse, Lutkas count among a buck's most precious belongings. Oh, I see, yeah, so it was coated in ash, so that was to commemorate the dead, so Bryn is dead. Definitely. I'm sorry, good mouse, but there is no magic there. Where did where did the Lutka go? That's bizarre. I just felt there was something curious about my loot. Your loot? Aye, there's something there. Forgive me, Lady Doinlin, I must go. I shall wait for you there on the steps of the far tower. So can we see it from here? Yeah, I think it's that thing over there, which is the thing in the forest. On the steps of the far tower. So I guess they're probably going to help me get inside of that place. Okay, cool. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head back to the forest and see if we can get inside that central tower.